Today I'm going to be showing you how to make Easy Peel stickers using a relatively new feature in Cricut Design Space called Create Sticker. If we're just meeting right now, hi, my name is Nisha. Welcome to Little Craft Nest. Easy Peel stickers allow you to remove that outer edge of the sticker so that when you give it to a friend, it'll be so easy for them to peel. To use the feature that I'll be showing you today, you do need a Cricut Access subscription. But if you still want to make Easy Peel stickers and you don't have a Cricut Access subscription, you can still make them. I have made a video before making Easy Peel stickers without using this feature. This new feature just makes the process so much more simpler and there's far fewer steps. So let's go check it out. First, we're gonna grab the images that we want to turn into stickers. So I've already uploaded some designs. Here I have a bunch of different Disney character autographs that we collected from our last Disney vacation. So I thought it would be fun to turn these into stickers. So we'll do Mickey, Minnie, Goofy, and let's do Donald Duck. And then I'm gonna add those to the canvas. Now you can choose any image you want. You can upload your own designs, use some images from Cricut Design Space, and it doesn't matter if they're PNGs or SVGs, you can still make stickers out of them. I just love these Disney character autographs. They're so fun and so unique. So let's turn them into stickers. You can see under operation that this is a basic cut file. You could go ahead and change that to print then cut, but you really don't need to because when we use the create sticker feature, it will do that automatically for you. So let's create our first sticker. So right now I have Mickey Mouse selected. We're gonna click on create sticker and check it out. Now this feature is still in the beta mode, which means it is still being tested. So if you encounter some glitches, that may be why. Now we're presented with two options here. We have die cut and kiss cut. Die cut is when your Cricut machine cuts all the way through your sticker material. And kiss cuts when your machine only cuts through the top layer, leaving the liner intact. So right now we're gonna click on kiss cut and we've got some options here again. The first one is border. And because my image is not a solid image, we've got lots of blank space in between. We definitely need a border. If I made this without a border, Design Space would cut around each and every one of these letters and I don't want that to happen. So we're gonna click on border and you can choose from thin, standard, wide, or custom to make your own custom size. I'm gonna click on standard and see how that looks. That looks pretty good, but if you want this area filled in a little more, let's see what wide looks like. And that looks pretty good too, but maybe a bit too wide. So let's do a custom setting. So let's go over to custom. And just like in offset, we have this little dial here that we can drag to the right to make our offset bigger or to the left to make it smaller. All right, so I'm at 0 0.166 inches and I think that looks pretty good. So I'll keep that. And then you can change the color of your border. Cricut automatically makes the border white, but if you did black, well, you wouldn't really be able to see the text anymore because the words on our sticker are black. So let's change it to another color. When I think Mickey Mouse, I think red. So let's make Mickey Mouse's background a red color. And when you're done selecting your color, you're gonna click that back arrow beside border fill color. And we're gonna do one more thing. So underneath it says die cut edge. And so what this is gonna do is create another border around our sticker. And this function will allow the Cricut to cut all the way through the material. So we'll have our outside layer that cuts all the way through and then our inside layer, which will only cut the top layer. So we're gonna turn this die cut edge toggle on. And you can see how that just got a little fatter, but after we make these stickers, you'll be able to remove that outer edge. So when you're happy with your sticker, go ahead and click on apply. If you click outside of the create sticker function, you'll probably lose the changes you just made. So make sure you click on apply before you exit out of this feature. So there, our first sticker is completed. It's actually a pretty large sticker, so we can shrink that down and make it a little smaller. So let's go over what we just learned and we're gonna create a sticker for Donald Duck. So click on create sticker. 
kiss cut under border. Let's do standard and see how that looks. I think that looks pretty good, so we'll keep that. And let's change our color. Let's make Donald Duck yellow. And that yellow color looks good, so let's click that back arrow beside border fill color. And we're gonna turn the die cut edge toggle on and then click apply. And we're done our second sticker and that was super simple to do. Now let's say you made a mistake and you no longer want Donald Duck to be a sticker. You can go back up to edit sticker and click on undo sticker and then you can start all over from scratch again. So I'm gonna quickly make two more stickers here. Once you're happy with your stickers, you can go ahead and click on make. So it looks like I have a whole lot more room here on my page. So let's duplicate our stickers. So by project copies, let's change that from one to two. And I still feel like we can fit more stickers on there. So let's do three copies and click apply. Now, some of these stickers made their way to a second page, but let's bring them back to the first page to see if we can fit them all on there. So I'm gonna click on this goofy sticker here and then click on those three little dots and click on move object. And then we're gonna click on that first page there and click confirm. Now you'll see our goofy sticker over here at the top and we can move this so we can turn it and try to get it to fit on this page. You can move your other stickers as well. And we're gonna make the most of our space and of our material so that we don't waste our sticker paper. So let's move some of these around here. All right, and now we can bring the other stickers over as well. So click on Donald Duck and then those three dots move object object and we'll move it to that first page and click confirm and then place that sticker where you want it to go. Make sure it's not overlapping with any of the other stickers otherwise you'll get cut lines through your stickers that you don't want. So I'm going to finish up doing this and then we'll continue. All right we got all those stickers onto one page so let's click on continue and then press send to printer. And I'm using my Epson inkjet printer today, so make sure you have your right printer selected. You can turn the bleed on or off for this project. It really doesn't matter. I really don't think you need it on because what the bleed does is extend your colors outward so that if your calibration is slightly off, you're not really going to notice. But because we have that extra edge on these stickers, once we peel off that edge, no one's going to notice if your machine was properly calibrated or not. But on that note, make sure you do calibrate your Cricut machine before you start making stickers. Also, if Cricut has recently done an update, make sure you do calibrate your Cricut machine so that your cut lines are precise. And then I always recommend to use the system dialog, so turn that toggle on and then click print. Now the system dialog box normally pops up behind your design space application. So you may need to move design space over to the side in order to find that print dialog box. And here it is. I'm gonna go down to uh, media and quality and under media type, I'm gonna select photo matte paper. I find that works best for this sticker paper that I'm using, but if you're using a glossy sticker paper, maybe choose photo high gloss or photo glossy paper. I'm gonna select matte today. And then my quality automatically turned to best. Now before you go and press print, make sure you put your sticker paper into your printer. The sticker paper I'm using today is from Tech Wrap, and I absolutely love their sticker paper. Sometimes it's hard to figure out what side is the side you need to print on. So just peel a little piece in the corner and see what side is sticky so you know what side your printer needs to print on. For my printer, I need to have the side I'm printing on facing down in my drawer, and then I can go ahead and click on print. When your stickers have finished printing, place your sticker sheet on your mat the same way as it appears on the screen. You can put a laminate sheet on top of your stickers to make them water resistant, but today I'm going to skip that step. If you want to see how I do that, I did do that in my last video on sticker sheets. I find this sticker paper absorbs the ink really well, but just to be safe, I like to lay a piece of parchment paper on top when I use my brayer to stick it down on my mat. If you're using TechRap's sticker vinyl, I find the best setting to use is printable waterproof sticker set white. Now, if you lay a cold laminate sheet on top, 
Then you would choose the setting printable waterproof sticker set transparent. So because I didn't put a laminate sheet on my stickers today, I'm going to choose this option here. Then Cricut will give you two different default settings. So we have a default setting for our kiss cut pressure as well as our die cut pressure. So if you need to adjust either of those, you can do that here. You do more pressure or less pressure for both of those. I'm going to leave both of mine on default. And then we can load our machine into the mat and get our stickers cut out. Your machine will start by shining a little sensor light on your mat to detect your registration marks. And then it will proceed to cut around each of the stickers. First doing the kiss cut and then the die cuts. Once your stickers are all cut out, you can remove your negative sticker film. Some of my die cuts didn't quite cut all the way through, but that's okay. I can just punch out some of these stickers. And next time I make these, I may select more pressure for my die cut setting. Then you can peel the outside edge off of each of your stickers and they now have become easy peel stickers. As you can now hand them out to your friends and they can easily peel the sticker off the backing. I hope you enjoyed this sticker tutorial. If you're looking for more sticker videos, I do have a bunch of them posted down below in the description of this video. So go check those out and I hope to see you on more crafting adventures.